Welcome to the manufacturing cell utilizing Industry 4.0 concepts. Here we are going to see in practice the whole manufacturing cycle, applying smart manufacturing concepts. Step 1. Customizing the product using data sent via smartphones, tablets, desktops or displays like this one used in the cell. Concept. The Internet of Things. Once complete, the customer is sent a QR code, which will be used to pick up the customized product. Step 2. Data is transmitted to the system using an external platform. Applied concepts are cloud-based data handling and Internet of Services. Step 3. The KUKA robot receives the signal via the PLC to initiate the process. It takes a blank from the stock based on the customization settings and places it in front of the RFID recorder. This records all the relevant manufacturing data on the workpiece. The workpiece itself runs the process, applying smart product and smart factory concepts. Step 4. Data is received by Vero Software's EdgeCam platform, which generates an NC program. This program data is sent to the machine tool, employing the concept of cyber-physical systems. Step 5. Prior to the machining process, the software controls an MNH machine tool probe from Hexagon to align the workpiece. Only then can the machining process take place. Step 6. A photoelectric position sensor detects the presence of a workpiece, but does not identify exactly which piece it is. Concept. Decentralized manufacturing. Step 7. The next robot receives the signal, takes the piece and puts it in the RFID reader to identify the unique customization parameters and continue measuring the workpiece. This example includes two models, prismatic or curved. Step 8. Once the customization is detected, the same robot puts the piece in the appropriate machine and automatically identifies which measuring program should run. Applied concepts, smart product, machine-to-machine -machine communication and RFID. Step 9. All measurement results, whether they are made on the coordinate measuring machine or by the machine tool probe, are sent to the QDAS statistical software platform. Controlling and managing production capability. Finally, the user inputs the QR code into the reader, which detects the piece. The laser engraves the information originally programmed by the user for future traceability and delivers a 100% customized product. Automatic safety systems with smart plug-and-play sensors are also used, such as optical barriers with ASI protocol. The integration work in this example was done by partnering with several companies. This is the future of the smart factory.